Good evening and welcome to Light in the Darkness. This is our 20th wedding anniversary today and this is not how we had planned to spend it, but that's okay. The night before our wedding, Mike stayed with very good friends of ours and they had a little boy called Andrew. Andrew loved Bob the Builder and he decided to keep Mike occupied and distracted on the morning of our wedding, watching Bob the Builder videos. And as a result of that, Mike has his very own Bob the Builder. I don't know if you're familiar with Bob or not. He's not on TV now nearly as much as he used to be. But we love having Bob around. Bob had a hit single. It was called, Can We Fix It? Yes, we can. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! That seems like a very apt question for these times. We feel quite helpless just now, don't we? Things can cause us to be frustrated or frightened, to feel alone. We don't know how we're going to get out of this situation. We want people to fix it, but we're not certain how. We can feel utterly helpless. That was the theme of many of the programmes that Bob was involved in. He would get a project to do, a problem to solve. But he never had to do it on his own. He had friends to help him. He had Wendy and Scoop and Digger. And that's where my memory stops. So if you want to know about any more of Bob's friends, you have to Google it for yourself. But Bob and his friends together could do so much that they couldn't do on their own. And isn't that the case for us too? On our own, we can do very little. Together, we can do so much. And togetherness isn't about physical presence. Togetherness is about unity, about common purpose, about friendship, about care, about support for one another. And when we pull together, even though we're apart, we can fix it. Yes, we can. Good night and God bless.